Hi, I'm David with Best Rest Products, maker of the Motorcycle Recovery System. The MRS is a rope and pulley recovery system that can be used to upright a fallen bike, haul it up a hill after it's gone off uh, the road, or use it as a towing system. It comes in a red storage pouch. It contains uh, a bundle of rope. This rope is rated to several thousand pounds, more than you'll need on a motorcycle. Two prussics which is a climbing piece of rope with knots in it. We'll show you how that works. Two pulleys. These happen to be the double pulley, which comes in the heavy duty kit, which is a five to one ratio. Uh, we also have a standard kit, which has a single pulley, which is a three to one ratio. Two uh, carabiners. And three pieces of heavy duty nylon flat webbing. You'll use this to attach to the motorcycle and also to your anchor point. In addition to the components, we also have a set of instructions. If you've never used this before in the field, uh, you could actually sit here and read the book and it would show you how to set things up, how to tie the knot, so on and so on. Uh, it's better if you learn this before you go in the field. We're going to try to show you the basics uh, show you what you can do. We won't cover everything, but we'll give you the, the highlights so that you feel confident that you could use this when the time is needed. So here we have a trail scenario where a bike has fallen on its side. We're going to get the bike upright. We're going to haul it up this slope and get it to the far side. What I've done is I've attached webbing to two points on the bike. In this case, one goes over to a grab rail. The other one is actually wrapping around the seat and attach to a piece of frame for the crash bar. We want to get two points. You could tie to the handlebars. Just be careful of your controls and be careful about tying to the hand grip so that you don't destroy a heated grip. Now we're going to reset the camera and I'll show you how we hooked up to our anchor point. Here we're at the anchor point or the tree. We've used a piece of webbing to go around the tree. We've hooked a carabiner to it. We've hooked the double pulley to it. In this case, we're using a five to one ratio. If you were using the standard kit, the basic, that's a three to one. There'd only be one wrap on the pulley. This is my line that I would pull on. And this is called a safety prussic. This prussic acts as a brake. When I pull on this and it reaches uh, a certain point, when I release the rope, it'll actually grab the rope and it'll prevent the bike from falling backwards down the hill. So here's the attachment point on the anchor point itself. You can actually swap this from the system that we have set up right now so that you're standing close to the bike as opposed to close to your anchor point. That may be useful when you're working by yourself and you have to steady the bike as you're pulling. But in this case, we set it up with the safety prussic and my pulling point actually closest to the tree. The motorcycle's down there about 30 feet away. I've got 82 feet of rope. I have to take into account the length of the rope and the number of wraps on the pulleys so that I don't run out of rope. But you can work out those details in the field. Here we are midway on the rope. Uh, my motorcycle's that direction. My anchor point's that direction. There's the line that's actually doing the, the heavy lifting to the bike. I've got a prussic on it. This prussic will tension as soon as I pull on the end of it. It's hooked into the carabiner. I've got my double pulley here. I've gone back around and around. And here's the piece of rope that I will be pulling on. When I pull on this, I'm going to get a 5 to 1 pulling ratio, which means if I can pull 200 pounds, I can lift or pull 1,000 pounds. So we're going to reset now, and we're going to show me pulling that bike upright so that we get it up on its wheels. Uh, one note that if you're pulling towards the side stand, the side stand's in the air, you want to extend the side stand that uh, reduces the chance that you might actually over pull the bike. Uh, the side stand acts as a stop so that you don't pull the bike back over and then you have to reset it again. Okay, so we've got the bike down there on its side. We've got the tree up here, our anchor point. We've got our rope through our double pulleys. We've got our prussics in place. Now I'm gonna start to pull. I'm not gonna pull with my arms. Instead, I'm gonna wrap it around my waist because I'm gonna act like a mountain climber, almost like I was belaying someone. So as I start to walk backwards, the bike is going to start to come up. And I start to pull. Go ahead and pan to the bike.
the uh, I'm doing this slow so we can get it on the camera I can stop and let go entirely with my hands the bike will stay there because of that safety prusik and there we have it just about upright and if I'm careful it comes right up on the side stand so that's how you pull the bike from being down on its side one note sometimes the bike will want to skid on the ground in that case you have to anchor the wheels so that the whole bike doesn't skid we've reset the MRS system and we're going to pull this bike up this steep embankment um, we've anchored to our tree and we've anchored to our bike using webbing to a, a central point like a V. Here we've attached to the crash bars of Steve's F650 GS. You try to attach as low as you can, perhaps to the fork tubes. This has got sliders in the way, so we had to be creative and go to the bars. You could go to the handlebars, but you have to be careful that you don't damage heated grips or control surfaces on the bars themselves. I'm gonna be up there pulling. We're gonna set up for that shot. Steve's going to be here holding the bike steady as I pull this up. And we'll do it from a, a long shot so you can see the general process. It doesn't necessarily have to go all in one smooth up the hill. We may stop along the way. We may have to move the rope so we can get more pull. But we'll get this thing up that hill that we couldn't otherwise ride up. Okay, we're going to pull Steve up the hill. I've got my system set up with my anchor there. I'm attached to the bike over here. I'm going to pull the bike up part way. I'm going to stop, let go of the rope, walk up, talk a little bit more, and then we'll finish the process. You don't have to make it all in one smooth pull. You can pull a little bit, rest, pull a little bit, and rest. Here we go. So, I pulled Steve up a bit, take a breather, and I'll finish the pull now. Once again, I come back for more rope, pull them up again. All right. We're at the top of the hill. Hey, this is not without a little bit of effort. We got the bike up the hill, now it's time for some water. So what we've shown you in this video clip is a couple of things. Number one, we got the bike back up on its feet. Um, we also showed you pulling it up an otherwise unrideable embankment. Uh, Steve kept the bike from tipping over and I did all the heavy lifting, literally. I was using a 5 to 1 ratio, the heavy duty kit. Uh, that gave me five times the mechanical advantage. Uh, I strongly recommend that you get the heavy-duty kit because it gives you so much more oomph. Uh, it costs a little bit more, but it's worth it. If I had a 3 to 1, it would have been more difficult for me to haul it up here. I'd have had to do it in short pieces, you know, pull a little bit, rest, pull, rest. If I had a buddy helping me pull, uh, we could have done it quite easily. But we're assuming that you're going with maybe yourself and another rider. Uh, if you have a bunch of guys, we could have had five guys pulling on this. It would have gone like that. In any case, having a recovery system on your bike is something that gives you peace of mind you're out in the middle of nowhere. You go off the road unexpectedly. This will get you back up onto the road. All you need is a recovery kit and an anchor point. Um, we've got a lot of trees here in the northwest. Maybe you have to use a rock in, in, the, uh, in the southwest. Tie it to something. If necessary, take that webbing, tie it around a big rock, dig a hole, bury the rock. It becomes a dead man. 
but you come up with what you have to under those conditions and use this system to, to haul you out and get you back into civilization. By the way, the components that we use in this are all made in the USA. This is mountaineering grade equipment. This isn't something you're going to find at a hardware store. Um, the pulleys are rated to like 5,000 pounds, the, the carabiners to seven, the rope 5,000. Uh, this stuff will certainly lift the bike and do what's needed to be done. In fact, in our shop, we set up a system and we were lifting my 1200 GS, my BMW 1200 GS, off the ground, supporting it in the air, and I was doing all the lifting on it. So we know it'll lift the weight of the bike. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Visit Best Rest Products when you have a chance, and we'll see you on the trail.